Hey everyone, I just joined this Facebook group and it seems like there's some people here who have some questions regarding Kundalini and just spirituality in general. And I just wanna say that I think it's a really beautiful thing when people come together and seek truth in hopes of just maturing their spirituality and just their, their walk in life, their journey. Because there's so many things here in this world that we can get distracted by. And um, it's really easy just to ignore some of these more intangible aspects of our life. But the funny thing is, is these intangible sort of subtle realms, they're the ones that are the easiest to ignore, but they're the ones that are the most important to address. So I just wanna commend you for being a part of this group and I thank you for tuning in. So the second question that I'm gonna answer or address here today is what is enlightenment? Suppose I'm enlightened. How would I know that I'm enlightened? How would others know that I'm enlightened? This is also another really great question and um, I could answer it in a lot of different ways. So I'm just gonna give you what comes to mind off the top of my head. So when somebody says they're enlightened, well, if somebody's really enlightened, they're probably not gonna say that they're enlightened. Uh, it's basically a never ending journey and it just keeps going unless you become an ascended master, which is fairly rare, but attainable. Um, so for me, enlightenment is really just waking up to the divine truths that are inside of you, that are governing your day-to-day -day lives, your beliefs. A good way to describe being enlightened is having the ability or the capacity to see the light in everyone. And this is kind of what people would describe as the Christ consciousness. Uh, Christ went around just loving people and he saw people for who they really were. He didn't judge people by their outward appearances. And so when you see the light inside of everyone, you realize somebody who's treating you maybe in a negative way is really just missing interpreting who you really are and your experience and by becoming enlightened you are able to transcend your oppressors you're able to transcend these negative emotions and negative feelings that stem from separation and condemnation so you're waking up to this unified aspect of all of us here in this realm and light is unity light is love and if you choose not to see that light then you would probably not be enlightened. And so you have this concept of unity versus separation. So enlightenment will always be correlated with a sense of unification. Love is unity, fear is separation. So in all aspects of your life, seek to unify and you become enlightened. The challenge is you come across all different characters in life and you're put in situations that are basically designed to test you. Um, people will call them forgiveness lessons. And that's kind of the journey of becoming spiritually enlightened is overcoming these obstacles, overcoming these challenges and taking difficult situations and choosing to unify and forgive and see the light in people and also yourself. So becoming enlightened, one of the biggest steps and some of the hardest challenges for people is to look at yourself in the mirror and understand that you are a divine being. You have God inside of you. You maybe have forgotten it for a little while, but if you seek enough truth and put enough work into your spiritual practice, then you begin to see yourself as not a body, but basically the spiritual condition, which is love. And once you begin to actualize this, once you begin to let this flow through your being, you become lighter. You become basically light. And so becoming enlightened is a very freeing experience. It's a very transcendent journey because we're more or less conditioned in life to just view ourselves as this body and nothing could be further from the truth. So when you become enlightened, you awaken to your true infinite potential that has been inside of you all along. And so it's kind of this inside joke that, you know, you've seen yourself grow up and you've thought about your identity in a certain way, but when you become enlightened, you transcend and realize that you are truly spirit. It's a very freeing experience, and once you become enlightened, you want to share that with other people because you see a lot of pain and suffering out in this world. Swami Vivekananda is famous for stating that ignorance is the mother of all miseries. 
What he was saying is if people are ignorant about the light inside of them, about their true spiritual nature, then they'll experience suffering. So if you're enlightened, you probably would know it because you're going to be full of love and joy. By their fruits, you will recognize them. And so an enlightened person is going to display fruits of love and forgiveness and all these positive aspects. They're going to be very good at being able to empathize with others, take the position of somebody that is outside of them. So it's a very powerful experience. It's a very powerful journey. And um, it's not without its challenges. But when you really consider the rewards and the true joy that it offers, it's really the, the ultimate goal here. So how would others know that you're enlightened? Well, I would say that there is no other. There's just I, and we're all unified together. So it really doesn't matter what other people think about you. And if you're enlightened, then you truly realize that the opinions of others doesn't really matter, and they, they hold no weight. Um, this makes it easier to forgive people because when you're being condemned, which will happen along your road to enlightenment, um, you just forgive them and you realize that they're not really seeing you for who you really are. This is what samadhi is. If anybody's ever experienced samadhi, it's just this pure state of bliss where you're just being and you're actually full of light and so um, it's very beautiful and it's very transcendent and it, other people may see you for who you really are but the truth is most people are programmed to just see the worst in you and so it can be kind of frustrating when you have something really beautiful to share and nobody wants to listen to you but then you know you go on facebook and start making videos and share this information with people and hope somebody gets something positive out of it so um, you'll find in your journeys of, in enlightenment that um, certain people are just not going to see you as enlightened because they don't want to and the thing is it doesn't really matter what they think about you or what they see in you what really matters is you staying true to your inner spirit um, seeking truth and representing love and unity at all at every step of the way eventually in your spiritual journey you'll reach these various plateaus um, where you kind of just everything doesn't matter and you're just in the zone um, when you reach these levels it's harder and harder for people to ignore the fact that you're enlightened and um, you'll notice that you know certain people just like will come up to you and just open up about like these deep dark things that are bothering them and so an enlightened person really is somebody who's able to show extreme levels of empathy and this is powerful because then you'll be able to relate to basically anybody and um, that's kind of the fun journey in spirituality is like you never know when your path is going to cross with somebody and you'll have just this beautiful experience and in a way it, it makes it beautiful when you can't really relate to many people when you do have that one person that comes up to you that wants to you know share in your fellowship in your love then it becomes just this basically poetry in motion and you just like have this beautiful moment with somebody that you cherish because you realize it's so precious and that's what enlightenment is is sharing this light with other people and waking them up to the, the light inside of them and so that's kind of just a summary of what enlightenment is it definitely taps into a lot of other things relating to spirituality and waking up but in general we are light beings and once you realize this fact and you remove all your blocks through love and forgiveness when you remove all the separation and your spirit is unified with your with your body with everything else around you then it becomes very transcendent very divine and then all of these things in the world that seem very complicated everything just dissolves away and you see order among chaos and so enlightenment really truly is love in action